Welcome back to Showcase Sunday. That's where we take a look at a builder on the Steam Workshop and show off some of his stuff and then try to fly one of them. Let's get started! So today we're taking a look at builds from Sir Murtak. It might be Murtak, but I'm going to go with Murtak. And what I've done is I've spawned some boats and I've spawned some planes and a helicopter and they are in static mode. So that's why their butts are standing up in the air like that. But I was trying to save on the frame rate. You know what's getting dark? Let's do some magic. Okay, that's better. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at these. Take a look at the inside. Check them out. And if you want to check out any of these for yourself, there is a link in the description to the workshop. But uh, let's get started. All right. So we have the Reaper. And this is a Hubie Cobra. Looking pretty nice. It's got the uh, double seats. And so I'm just going to quickly do a walk around just so we can check it out. Uh, I don't do reviews on this show. So I am just showing you some cool builds and why you might want to go subscribe and try flying some of these. All right, let's get in the helicopter here. Okay, Ooh, pretty cool. Got lots of buttons, level hold, position lights. I'm just gonna turn things on because you can't actually move. Look at that, oh, there we go. Cool, turn side gun, right. Ooh, let's, let's try that. Oh, look at that. So he's got movement in the guns. That's pretty cool. All right. So that's a gunner. I think the driver of this thing is in the back. So, oh, there we go. Cool. So let's just turn on some. Ooh, you can turn stuff on while you're static, but I don't think I can move. But we can play around just for fun. The cockpit lights are hooked up. Oh, look at that. Am I missing something? Or will it not turn while we're on the ground like this? I don't see anything. Ooh, all right. Well, anyways, that looks pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead. <laughs> Is it going to turn off? Okay, so we learned it's a bad idea to play with the engines while you're playing with static objects and checking them out. <laughs> all right, so let's go to the next one. So this is the uh, Cub. Really cute little plane here. And uh, you just hop in this like this. You can check out the cockpit. It's got some nice little details in here. Looks really nice. Huh. Very cool. All right. The next one is the, I think it's called a Beechcraft Empress. It's got some nice work here on the side. Ooh. Very cool. Can I just walk up? Oh, I can. Okay. It's having some issues. I guess it doesn't like being static. But let's just check it out. It's got like a little coffee maker back here. It has, of course, a door. Some nice little seat with a table. Yeah, wow, look at that. That looks cool. Because if you're like looking at the plane, <laughs> it's like, you know, if you're flying by and there's, oh, there's a plane flying by. So we're going to go ahead and check out, this looks like eyeballs staring at me. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's check out the cockpit. So we've got some crazy stuff going on right now with the landing gear or something's going on. I'm just going to, is there something to put the landing gear up here? Oh, landing gear number six. Whoa, number six. Oh. It's right there connected to that so something's going on outside i don't exactly know what it is oh door but but it looks like it's having trouble with this landing gear here not sure what's going on might be because i spotted static anyway really nice looking plane i like the details and the colors it's nice to see something other than world war ii camouflage all right so the next item we have is the floating <laughs> dc Three, Lufthansa, Lufthansa. Don't ask me to say these kind of words. We have a nice little logo on the back. Nice little numbers with the little flag. We have the name. So that's a nice looking plane. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in this thing. Let's check it out here. Does this come down? Oh, there we go. And what's this, door complete. Oh, look at that. Really open the door, okay. Okay, jump inside, jump inside, jump inside, jump inside. Okay. And we have nice little details here. And look, they're using the glass window again for a frame. I like that. We have parachutes in the back here. Little shelf. What is this? The door? Oh, the light. Nice light. And this is the cargo. So I wonder what this does. It's cool. Oh, they're magnets. So I guess you can put stuff back here. But does it open up? 
It doesn't like throw stuff out, does it? Oh, what's this do? Oh, it's a light. Okay, what's this do? Full door. Okay, so you must be able to throw things out the side, I guess. Like, you know, throw bags out or something. So let's go ahead and look through here. Oh, look at these. Nice looking lockers with handles, 3D handles, looking good. We're gonna go through the front here. We've got lots of breakers. Looks like we have another door here. We do. Nice little door to get in and get out. And let's look at the cockpit. All right. Cockpits are always a challenge. So whenever you see a nice cockpit laid out, you're like, hey, this guy spent some time. So we have some lovely looking things here. We have airspeed, vertical speed. We have RPS. And then it's not showing me what this is. Oh, I guess it's nothing. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's roll or something. We got another RPS. And then we have temperature, altitude, temperature. And we got some gauges for our left tank, right tank. We got our tail wheel, our magnetos, center tank. And then back here, what is all of this stuff? Can't read. Oh, strobes. Oh, we can turn on lights. That's not going to hurt us. Not available. Beacon, not available. Oh, wait. These are on. Ooh, pretty. And then we have a mixture, which I saw on another aircraft. This is actually the clutch on the engine. So he's using a clutch for mixture, which is clever. And then what do we have back here? We have gear and flaps. Okay, we can do this, can we? Maybe that's the flap right there. Let's see. It's kind of in a bad spot. Is that the flap? Yeah, that's a flap. Okay, cool. And then let's put the gear up. Or down. I think it's up. So that's what it looks like when it's flying, which is really cool. Okay, so what else are we going to do here? I don't think we have any more buttons to press. What is this? Another clock? Throttle, prop lever. Okay, so again, we're just checking these out. This is more just like a, I guess, a museum tour. If you go to your local airport and you're looking at the planes, that's kind of what we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the boats. That one's kind of freaking out still. And check out what they look like. All right, so we are coming up on the 1950s tugboat, the Annie. And uh, this is really nice. I haven't checked out too many boats. But this is a nice looking one and I like the logo in the front kind of reminds me of the 1950s you know the chrome look uh, on Cadillacs and stuff like that the old cars so I don't know I just think that's very attractive for this boat <laughs> is that little logo right there I don't know why but I love it it's actually a light but uh, yeah we got Miss Annie up there oh that's nice I like the sign work and the using the pipes so this is really cool I'm going to go ahead and check out the back. I've got controls here for connector. And I guess this is to... I wonder how that works. Is that like... Does have connectors on it? It has a connector on it, I guess. So, whoa! You probably let that go in the water. And then it connects to the boat you're trying to pull. And you pull it back in. So that's pretty neat. I like the work on this. Just like the little details. Like these uh, generators or engines, whatever. Just add to it. I need to make a boat someday. So we're going to go ahead and check out the inside because I think he has a lot of detail on some of these. So this appears to be maybe an engine room. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here before I break something. I want to turn on some static boats. And then we're going to go in here, which is, what is this? Oh, it's like a kitchen. It's got really likes coffee, I think. Got some coffee cups and everything on here. A nice little table to sit down. Oh, you can't sit down on a chair. What a bummer. And then we come up here and we have, I don't know, drawers and stuff. Looks like a cabinet. Bathroom, I'm guessing. A bathroom. And then what is this room? And then we have, oh, a little bedroom with a plant. Huh? And lights. Oh, very cool. And look, another shelf. I like this. This is like being creative with what parts you have. It looks good. It looks like a bookshelf. That's a, like a little book uh, bookend. Very nice. Okay, so what does this do? Can I go up here? Oh, this is another way to get up to the cabinet. So I think I was thinking you had to go upstairs, but you don't. You can do it all in one place. Okay, cool. So we got like a radiator in here. Is this to keep us warm? Maybe. 
and we got our controls and we got some pipes and uh, lots of things. So, should I play with these? Oh, I can't play with them. Power's not on. I don't know where to turn the power on, but uh, it looks cool. Yeah, that's kind of neat. It's a good view. And there's a boat. Right, look at that front end. See, I love that. That's my favorite part of the boat. I'm not lying. <laughs> Anyways, it's very cool. Oh, you know what? I didn't notice. Look at this. That's cool. It looks like all the uh, electric conduits and all that stuff running into the electricity. Can I turn these on? Oh, that's a light. I mean, that's a door. Oh, just follow the pipes. Ding that. There you go. So look at that. See, that looks nice. You can role play in this. Like, if if we go out in the ocean and go fishing at night or something, this would be the thing you would do it in. You would just kick back and relax and sing a song, and then Jaws will come and get your boat. Let's go ahead and head over to the next boat. Oh, can I get out of here? And check it out. All right, so this one was actually a co-created boat with Captain Nero. So this is a German boat, and I think it's supposed to be a fast boat for rescuing people. So it looks pretty nice. It's using the new vents, so it must be relatively new here. It's got the new fluid intakes. God, couldn't think of that word. Okay, and then we have the nice little winch here to go out. I love this too, the people use netting and then they're using the intakes. Like you can, I guess I would dump water out of here. So let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, you have to hold the door. That's odd, but okay. We have some rescue gear in here. Then we have the nice helm and looks nice. What's that do? And radar. I like radars. I haven't seen one that works yet. There's something over there. That is pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so we have all this neat stuff up here. Another nicely built helm, cockpit, whatever you want to call it. Got lights. What is this? Oh, like a little diving room or something here. Should I push buttons? It's never a good idea. Oh, so there you go. So it's, oh, what's this? What's this? Oh. I'm down in the guts of the boat. Oh, I have to hold everything. I guess to keep the water up. Ooh, what is this? What's this? Oh, it's a medical bay. Oh, I had no idea this was down here. This is cool. Looks like engines. Uh, maybe a microwave? I'm just kidding. Not a microwave. Another engine. Okay, well, now how do I get out of here? I got two choices. I think we'll go up. Oh, go up. Wait, the trick is hold on to the letter and go up. There we go. Okay, that radar is still on. Let me turn that off. So the last one we're looking at is the Grumman G21. And it's pretty cool. Look at it. It's got the Japanese symbols. I don't know what that says. I have no idea. But it looks very cool. Again, these are all static, so they're not floating as they usually would. But this is a seaplane. So I just wanted to check it out. I like the top of this engine. That looks nice. There's a lot of cool things you can see on these builds that you're like, huh, I should try that on mine. So it's always a good idea to take a look at other people's work and see how they do things and see if there's something you can learn from them. And there is a lot to learn because blocks are a world of pure imagination. All right, how do we get in this thing? Oh, we're in the water. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab the ladder and put ourselves inside. This one stays open. Good, good. All right, so we have magnets. I'm not too sure what those are for. Uh, all right, so we're going to go through here. We have a table, and this is cool. I love, like, sitting in chairs and looking out the window and seeing <laughs> what it looks like if you're flying those things. So if you're a passenger, like, you can see the wing, the float, and then if there's planes out there, you can see them flying by. I don't know. It just seems kind of like a relaxing thing to do in these builds. We have a, another set of chairs here and then the cockpit. Lovely cockpits. What do we have here? Circuit breakers are on. We have engine temps. More doors for both sides here. And of course we have the cockpit with all of these lovely buttons. All right so that's it for checking out 
the uh, static plane. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out how to get out of here. And then we are going to go and fly one of his builds or attempt to fly. Let's go. All right, so I despawned all those planes and boats. And so what we're gonna do, I'm trying not to show it, Try not to show it. We are gonna fly off into the sunset in his build of, oh, the Kingfisher. Now this was a pretty popular plane for a while on the workshop and I never got to fly it. So I'm gonna <laughs> attempt to take off in this plane. Float planes are really <sighs> difficult in this game. So we're gonna do our best to see if we can get this thing to fly. No step, very nice. And uh, check it out. So this is a World War II plane, which is why I want to try flying it and not build it. <laughs> so look at that, very nice looking plane. Okay, here we go. So huh, I am floating a bit backwards or I'm sinking, am I sinking? I think I am sinking. That's odd. Okay, well, this is gonna be challenging. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the power. We're gonna go ahead and put the water rudder deployed and active. We're gonna turn on our lights. Wait, nav still. Cockpit lights, canopy. Oh, we should probably leave those open in case we have to get the heck out of here. I'm guessing this is a clutch. Oh, there goes the propeller. I'm gonna go ahead and engage the power. We're still floating, kind of. Okay, there's our engine. Apparently we have a jet engine powering this, <laughs> powering this prop. Maybe I should do that on my HE-111s. All right, so far, so good. Seaplane takeoff. So if I push number one, you gotta see the propeller goes upwards and that's to get you off the water, I think. But I think first we need to start moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up to maybe 30. And then we have our rudder on the arrows. Okay, come on little plane. I'm a little bit nervous about this because I feel like I'm sinking. All right, we're starting to move. Turn left, turn left. Please turn left. Left, please. Okay, all right. No! No, no, don't do that. Okay, I still have a chance. No, I don't. All right, let's try again. I think the key here is to get it moving as soon as possible so it doesn't get stuck in here. All right, let's do it real quick. Ready? And engine and engine. There we go. Get this to 30. 30. Put those water rudders. Let's get those lights going. All right. Here we go. Come on, little guy. We got this. We got this, little plane. We've got to go save people. All right. Propellers moving. We're moving. Uh... Ah, uh, I might have this. Okay. Now, I don't want to nosedive. I don't want to know. I'm nosediving. I'm nosediving. Okay. We're moving. I'm tapping one every once in a while just to keep this going. I think we need more... More engine here. Uh-oh. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. No, don't go down. Uh-oh, we're losing our engine. Okay, maybe I have to do like multiple fingers here. So, I have the elevator up. My pinky is hitting number one to try to get the... Uh... Okay, maybe we need more engine. Uh-oh, okay. We're not giving up yet. Okay, we might have to give up. Pretty soon. Ah! All right, Mr. Kingfisher, you are not going to end this video by not flying. It's a requirement that you fly. I don't think I want to do that. Let's not do that. I'm just going to go full throttle. 
Alright, here we go. Lights on. Alright. Gonna hold that up for a minute or so. Get it going. So that propellers. Alright, looks like we're floating pretty good right now. I wish I could put the throttle up without having to look at it. Can I do this? Tab? Oh, I can. E? Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm doing like three fingers here. Throttle, elevator, and engine. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put that up. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, what am I missing here? I've got the elevators all the way up. I think the engine is all the way up. I don't know. I'm not missing anything else. Turn off in flight. Okay, we'll turn that off. We're still not... It's like we don't have enough power now. Which is odd. Because... Hmm. Hmm. I don't think that'll work if I... Oh yeah, that's definitely the clutch. Wait, did I just take off? Ha! <laughs> um... I don't know what I did, but I took off. Alright! So, we can close our canopy. We are flying. We can go ahead and undo our rudder. And uh, I have no idea how I took off. But I did. So that's it for today. Uh, if you want to go check out these planes and maybe show me how to fly this plane properly, you can use a link in the description below. It is for Sir Murtak, or Sir Murtak, depending on how you want to say the name. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Shall we do the dramatic flyby? Let's do the dramatic flyby. Hold on.